If you plan to migrate to the United Kingdom as either a senior carer or a care assistant and you have little or no experience or you don't have any health background, then this video is for you because I'm going to be teaching you how to write a CV. Also, I'm going to be showing you a CV that you can use as a template for your job applications. guys welcome back to my channel it's your beautiful baby girl Kenzie O if you're new to my channel you're welcome my channel is all about relocation tips life abroad and faith and if you're a returning subscriber you guys are the best thank you for always showing your baby girl some love and if you're yet to subscribe to my channel kindly subscribe like this video so that YouTube can show it to other people share this video to everyone around you and turn on your notification bell so that when I post a new video you will be notified okay now let's get straight into the video a disclaimer guys I am NOT an immigration consultant I can't help you get a job every information i share on my channel is for information purpose and they are based on my research and my experience so in one of my videos i explained the secret to landing a care job in the united kingdom with or without a health background if you've not watched that video i would advise you watch that video first before you come back to this world so that you will have more understanding on what i'm going to discuss in today's video okay i'm going to be putting the link in the description box so one of the secrets like i mentioned in the video is to have a good cv guys your cv is the game changer if you can get it right in your cv then you can be almost guaranteed of being scheduled for an interview and hopefully get the desired job now what is a cv cv is an abbreviation of the word curriculum vitae and curriculum vitae is a short written summary of your skills your achievements your experience and your education as it relates to the role guys take note of that word as it relates to the role so it means for every role you apply for there must be a cv assigned for that particular job role i will be sharing the components of a good cv i'll also be showing you a cv that i have already done and we're going to look at a job advert together and i will teach you how to tailor your cv to that specific role okay are you ready for this guys come on and let's go first one is the font size and the font type guys i have seen quite a lot of cvs and that is a general mistake for most people personally i would recommend calibri you know to be the font type and a size of between 12 and 14 okay you need to be strategic in how you arrange your cv the second component of a good cv is your email address make sure you use a professional email address emails like Johnny the greatest at gmail.com the love of my life at yahoo.com <laughs> guys so many funny email address i have seen please guys make sure you use a professional email address just use your first name and your last name if your name is let's say bukola ola dimeji you can say bukola ola dimeji at yahoo.com or at gmail.com okay that sounds professional the third component of a good cv is to avoid putting your date of birth nationality country of origin local government area and so on guys if those things are still on your cv take it off another component of a good cv is to avoid grammatical errors this is very very important there's a common saying that first impression lasts longer so please and please before you submit your cv make sure you check all your spellings avoid grammatical error as much as possible people always say oh we are not perfect but when it comes to your cv try to be perfect check everything one after the other where you're supposed to put comma where you're supposed to put full stop where you're supposed to put s and so on and so forth make sure you check all those things if need be you can give it to someone else to proofread it for you before you send the cv you must also avoid putting abbreviations i've seen cvs where let's say you want to write south africa you write sa or you want to write because you write b c o s you know when we type messages on our phone maybe to our friends or our pals these are the ways we spell these words but when it comes to cv write the full word let's say you want to write i i have 
you write I, then apostrophe V E. No, you need to write complete sentence. Okay, so avoid abbreviations, avoid incomplete sentence. The next component is to be brief and concise, guys. Even if you have 100 years of experience, 50 years of experience, you don't need to put all those things there because there are loads of CV that they want to review. You just go straight to the point, hit the nail on the head, and that is it. And make sure the first page, or let me say one third of the first page, is the most catchy part of your CV so that they'll be interested in reading through the other parts of the CV. You know, I tell people something your CV is your story. Is your story. Now, if I take a story, and it's not interesting. I'm going to leave that story and pick up another story. So you must make sure you put some, you know, some juicy words and some things that will interest the recruiter to want to know more about you, to want to know more about your skills, your experience, you know, your educational background and all those things. So that first part has to be very catchy and interesting. Then the last thing is to tailor your CV according to the job role. If you've been watching my videos, you know I keep saying this over and over again. Okay, so when I say tailor your CV according to the job role, that is tailor your professional summary or your objective, tailor your skills, Tailor your experience to the advertised job role. And I'm going to show you how you're going to do that in today's video. So keep watching. All right, guys. So this is the CV that I have prepared for the purpose of this video. So I'm assuming that this person does not have a health background. So when I say does not have a health background, it means the person didn't study any health related program. Okay. So. I've prepared the CV. I want to encourage us guys, like I said in my last video, that in as much as whether you have a health background or not, you need to have some experience. You can either volunteer or you intern in a place or you work in hospitals or any healthcare facilities. Okay, that will make you competitive. All right, so I'm going to be reading out the CV. I want us to take a look at the overview of the CV, okay? You can see that everything has been arranged orderly. I didn't use any color because some people they like using colors in their CV. Personally, I don't buy to that idea. Make it very simple. Just your black and white. That is just my own opinion. This is what has worked for me, okay? And people that I know of. So it's very easy. It has the same font all throughout. And for my headings, as you can see, I highlighted the headings. Now, if you take a look at the beginning, you see that the name is in bold. And I think it, the font size is um, 14. Let me check, guys, just to be sure. It's Calibri and it's size 14. I have Oland Smith. I have the name. I have the contact address, the email address, and the phone number. If you have a LinkedIn profile, you can also put your LinkedIn address there. The next thing I did was to write the objective. You can name it objective. You can also call it professional summary. I am a highly motivated, versatile, dedicated, experienced, and empathetic care worker with expertise in provision of high-quality care to maintain health and safety and development of elderly patients. Experts in monitoring clients' behavior and encouraging participation in healthy activities as noted in the care plan. Effective team player working harmoniously with other team members to achieve the set aims and objective of the organization. I am in good physical, emotional, and mental state and can adequately cater for patients under my care. I always strive to continually improve patient quality of life, promoting independence and well-being by going above basic care to offer companionship and support. You can see that the objective is very clear. It went straight to the point. You don't need to put all your trainings and everything, all your skills. Just bring out the most important thing. The next thing I do is to write the area of expertise. Now, this is dependent on your experience. If you know you can do any of this thing I listed in this CV, you don't need to write it. Make sure you write what you are capable of doing. That's why it's called area of expertise. Okay, so I wrote elderly patient care, stomach care, oyst operation, movement and handling, catheter care and maintenance. Okay, remember that you don't have a health background. And I said 
at least one third of the first page has to be catchy so i don't expect you to write your educational background immediately because you don't have a health background how will your educational background make you competitive so you don't need to include the first you need to start with your areas of expertise your skills okay your qualifications your training these are the things that will make your cv catchy to the employer all right now after the area of expertise the next thing i put is the skills now what skills do you have Recording vital signs, which is very essential, like your blood pressure, your saturated oxygen level, your temperature, and the rest, okay? Medication administration, dementia and Alzheimer's knowledge, meal planning and preparation, patient-focused care, good listener, domestic help, leadership skills, organization skills, communication skills, and effective time management skills. As you can see, these are combination of soft skills and hard skills. So you can put all the skills that you have in this section. The next thing I did was qualification and training. This is where you're going to put all your training, your Florence, your Academy, your social care TV, and every qualification and training that you've had, make sure you list them in this section. Make sure you put the name of the provider, the year you did it, and the list of courses that was offered in that training or in that program so that was why i was able to list it with the bullet points make it very orderly and neat so for care skill academy these are the courses that was done okay for um florence academy it was just the basic first aid this is for care skill now i have another one by immigration and nationality services and these are all the courses that was done for that program okay so for those that did florence probably under florence academy you did like quite a number of courses you don't have to write the courses one after the other just put it as the heading florence academy then write all the courses that you did under florence academy if you go to care demi write care demi the year you did it if possible the month okay and write all the courses you did under that training provider the next thing is the Michanao Institute of Education at UHN and this was done in 2020. You can see that despite the fact that you don't have a health background, okay, you were able to list all the courses that you've done. So this is the personal support worker approach to quality care. If you've done IELTS, you can write your IELTS. Now the next thing is core values or qualities. Now we are allowing our skills, our training, our experience to shine forth in the first part of the cv because you don't have a health background or you don't really have much experience the next thing is called values or qualities all the qualities you are qualities of a carer or of a caregiver make sure you list it there if you truly have those qualities and like i said be mindful of your spelling guys i want you to take note of something in this cv you can see how i made the headings bold okay to show them that you are concise you are precise and you're organized okay so you need to arrange them orderly and make it look quite attractive but personally i avoid putting colors in my cv let's go to the work experience for this cv i did i assumed the person just volunteered like you were not paid to do the job you just went to volunteer whether in a care home or in an hospital so i wrote volunteer care assistant and these are the job roles okay i provide the highest level of personal care such as bathing dressing oral care etc to residents by following individual care plans carefully while ensuring that all contact is polite warm friendly and supportive privacy and dignity is always maintained while carrying out personal care alias with other care professionals relating to the care needs of the residents i am responsible for making and changing beds tidying resident room undertaking light cleaning needed and generally ensuring that the home is kept clean pleasant and welcoming at all times I engage residents in meaningful conversation, socialization, and activities. I also encourage residents to participate in activities as appropriate to the individual, ensuring that their emotional and social needs are met. Guys, in this video, I put as much job role as possible. You don't need to write everything. Just pick up 
four or five of them and that is it that's why i gave you so many of the job room pick as much as you can from it if you truly did it guys okay you have to be truthful in your cv now the next thing i put was customer representative i assume the person had done a customer representative job before and guys you must understand that if you did any other job that is different from the primary job role make sure you put transferable skills for example as a customer representative in this CV, I assume the person was selling in a store, you know, in a big store that they had a lot of, you know, equipment and stuff like that. You don't need to say, I sold this, 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 or I made 50,000 era sales, or I made 1 million per annum. You don't need to put those things. You need to put transferable skills. What skill does a customer representative have that can be transferred to a care assistant role? For example, organization. You need to be able to organize yourself and portray yourself well and that is needed in the care industry you need to know those that need assistance those that don't need assistance when to write your notes how to fill your daily log and so on and so forth you need to construct your cv in such a way that it matches with a job of a care assistant or a senior carer okay if you get what i mean now in this place i wrote Dortmund store Ikeja, Lagos, Nigeria provided technical support for clients on a wide range of companies' products, resolving issues at a 90% rate. The summary of this four statements is what? Support. It means you were supportive. And as a care assistant, you need to be supportive. So that is a skill you can transfer to the care industry. Remain cautious and calm even during moments of customers' dissatisfaction there will always be a time where your customers is not happy you must you must be able to be what to become and as a carer or a care assistant you can't do without being calm is keeping records on sales of companies products and processes the watch word is record as a care assistant or senior carer you will always write record you need to write your daily logs you need to write reports you need to update the food and flu charts you need to update the stool charts you need to do your sightings repositioning charts so many things you need to keep writing and writing so record keep is an important skill that is needed for a care assistant or a senior carer next thing is fostered relationship with customers to expand customer base and enhance loyalty and retention the watch word there guys is relationship as a care assistant you must be able to what build relationship or foster rapport among your residents i don't want to make this video so long so i'm just going to read the next one so i also assumed that this person has also worked as a teaching assistant before okay so i have excellence college ikoi lagos nigeria the duration of work was stated and they are both in bold okay so the first one is organize activities to drive social emotional physical and intellectual development okay so worked with teachers to plan and implement lessons following school's curriculum goals objective and philosophy so the next thing is education obtained now the person has a bachelor of science in physics as you can see the person doesn't have a health background you can put your hobbies guys i put traveling cooking singing dancing and references available on request this is just how you can write your cv guys as you can see how organized and neat the cv is I said initially that I was going to show you what I mean by tailoring your CV to the job role. I'm going to show you an example of how to do that. So stay with me, guys. Now, I already opened a job site, site care assistant, and I chose this job vacancy. So this is from Alina Home Care, all right? And they are currently looking for a care assistant. So what you have to do whenever you get a job is to look at the role and read through the advert thoroughly now it says here that we are looking for a kind and caring people who want to make a difference to the life of others if you have a caring attitude and willing to make a difference come and join our fantastic care assistant based team in ml Hempstead, and the surroundings you won't regret it now from this sentence the saying we are looking for a kind and caring people it means in your skills you need to include that you're kind and you're caring it's very easy so all you have to do is that you just go to your cv and edit your cv okay 
So under the objective or professional summary, just edit it. Just say, I am a kind, caring, experienced, and empathetic care worker. If you get what I mean. So remove the motivated, versatile, dedicated. I'm not saying those things are not important, but because we want to put their words back to them so that when they see your CV, the first thing they are saying is the qualities they need in a care assistant. Now let's continue, guys. If you read through this advert, because I already read it, and let's go to the important part of it. Okay, now look at what was highlighted here. This is like a cheat code for you guys. It was even highlighted for you to know that you must have these qualities or the skills. Now it's saying below are some examples of what our clients may need your support with as a care assistant. It says light cleaning, laundry, shopping, meal preparation, medication, personal care, help to get dressed, washing and bathing. I'm going to incorporate all this in my skill section and in my job role. Okay, you can remove some things in what I wrote and include what they require. Okay, so if I were you, I would just write um, light cleaning, uh, laundry shopping, meal preparation, you know, person help you know ability to help patients get dressed these are the things you're going to put in your skills and also add some of it to your areas of expertise this is what they expect from you for this role if you think you could make a difference to someone's day and genuinely care about people then we have the care assistance opportunity for you all we expect from you is a caring attitude and a willingness to make a difference a desire to see elderly and vulnerable people treated with care and respect reliability flexibility and so on and so forth look at this these are skills guys these are the things you have to include in your cv add it to your area of expertise add it to your skills and include it in your job description by the time you are describing what you did add all these wordings to it and with that you have successfully tailored your cv to this particular job vacancy for each job vacancies make sure you have different cv for them okay by the time you start doing this guys trust me you're going to get a job this is what i did that landed me a job i don't use one cv for all my application i always alter my saving in fact what i do is that i name it with that company so let's say i'm applying to this alina home care so once i do the cv once i alter the cv i name it alina cv okay and trust me you will definitely be scheduled for an interview and hopefully get that job if you can implement everything i have said in today's video i hope you've gotten value from my video and you're ready to implement everything i just said why not support your baby girl by subscribing to my channel please like my video so that youtube can recommend it to others share to everyone around you and don't forget to turn on your notification bell because your baby girl will be bringing value-based videos back to back and if you've not joined my telegram group guys you're missing a lot because in that community i share other tips that can help your relocation abroad successful okay and i'm going to see you guys in my next video